Okay, so how are you doing, man? Uh, so, Jose and I, we decided to do a little video on hill climbs between the GT and the GTS. Uh, we are going to throw a 84 volt vest in the mix at the end to see how it does. But really, we want to compare apples to apples here. It's important to find out uh, how if any, the GTS is better than yeah, the GT. how much of an upgrade are you really getting with Is it worth the thousand extra dollars? Yeah. That's that's what we're trying to figure out. Um, obviously, you can modify your GT with a bunch of parts that are out there, um, but we want to see what you can do with the new update, custom shaping 3.0, and really we can do just with the factory um, modes and see what that can get us. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to test the GTs first. Um, we have two here. One, which is the one I brought, this is uh, my old board. This has around 3,500 to almost 4,000 miles. What we have here is a pretty much bone stock GT, flight fins, and a goat tire. That is it. There is no other difference besides it has the 3.0 custom shaping. All right, Jose, what about your board? Um, I've got the Katana 357s on this board, but other than that, it's just a regular GT, old software. Um, it's been rewheeled, so I've, I've pushed back, set back a little bit. But other than that, it's just, you know, regular, just GT. All right. And we'll be testing for hill degrees, which seems to be very important. And also uh, just how fast and the, the ease of how fast it can get up these hills. We do have a specific hill in mind, yeah. and it is a doozy. Uh, so yeah. let's get cracking. Okay, so we've gotten to the hill. This is our, our test hill, and uh, it's... It's what all the uh, mountain bikers fly off this jump and come down, but we will not be going to the jump We'll actually be going to the side over here. There's a trail and It goes up and around the corner. So it is pretty steep. Let's watch Jose kind of See how he does it goes up and around it is it's steep and it gets steeper as we go up Yeah, so it's it's a good hill definitely steeper with you <laughs> no, running towards me <laughs> okay so we're checking grade we're starting out at a six degree grade that's a 15 degree grade 18 degree grade yeah here's 25 as we start going up into here yep 25 28 and here's where we start getting into the rocks so bump bunking up onto that 32 24 Time to get up here, 32, and then back down, 13. Here's the hard one. This is 38. This is the one that we have to get up in order to get here. So that's pretty much, we're seeing a pretty much constant of about 18, to 20. Yeah. Now, on average. Here, let's just look here. Wait, if you were to take the outside line. There, there's the 25 degree bank that we're also having to work off. It's running off the side of the hill. So it is very difficult to get up this as well. In Max's video, it's a lot steeper at 30 degrees. Um, but this hill is really long. This is also and off can, camber. It's off camber and it's it's kind of snaking its way up with a lot of different obstacles as well. Yep. So each one of these obstacles takes up time and it takes up energy and it takes up motion. So just to say it's, it's very difficult to find a good, um, line. A good spot. This will be, this will be our start line with what we can run up against. Okay. So. I guess we'll run up the left-hand channel there since um, it looks like it's the best line. It just looks like the best line. Okay. We'll do it on the on all the boards the exact same way. Exact though. same way. Okay, so we are in we are in high line with no custom shaping, no nose raised, no nothing, and we'll see where we get. All right, 
That's actually better than I thought it would do. Um, seems the higher tire pressure is really keeping the nose up. We were at 13 PSI all the way across the board on all the boards, and we did make it to right here. That's not bad. Okay, first rock. All right, so take two because we just killed it on this. Ready. On the GT. Come on, GT. Okay. All right, so we have managed to get here on in high line with no nose up, no nothing. We're in still in high line, but I've brought the nose all the way up and the dynamic shaping all the way to five and the aggressiveness all the way to five. Let's see if we can go all the way up on the GT. You ready? Oh, it is stronger. Okay, so what motor are you in? Go up there. Uh, I'm in custom, but it's rear wheel custom. So I have aggressive all the way up, turn compensation all the way up. Okay, and the nose, I think it's up by like a couple, like little notches. It doesn't really say how many degrees. Okay, well, let's go for it. Let's, let's try. Damn, he's flying. exactly where that's exactly where we got stuck with the other gt without the nose up and the uh and any of the custom shaping okay so we made it to about the same but now we've got custom sh uh not custom shaping but uh your rewheeled setting with the nose all the way up right. and we're gonna see if you can make it over that same spot because that's exactly where we kept getting st stuck on the stock gt with yeah. 3.0 shaping ready ready Go for it. Got it. Ah! Oh. Oh. Well, that's exactly what we're seeing out of the uh, Custom GT. shaping GT. Yeah, that's as much uh, as you can pull out of the GT, as much power you can pull out of the But I mean, honestly, it ripped it up this really quickly. Very yeah, surprising. I think I'd learn it. I think I would too. Yeah. Maybe we gotta make this a little tougher. Yeah. Hit it maybe in the middle. All right. All right. Okay, so we just got done with the GT test, which was very surprising. Uh, what we found out is the GT is still a very, very, very viable one wheel. Uh, with lots of uh, lots of things that you can do with the custom shaping um, and we found that it did seem to even maybe surpass rewheel possibly kind of, kind of um, the cool thing about the custom shaping is that you can dial in your board a lot more than yeah. what you do with rewheel you have custom shaping 3.0 versus a you know 2.0 which only gives you three sliders yeah. but we saw that it made it up to that same point that you know we're struggling GT is pretty much just maxing itself out. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's talk about what we have as far as our GTSs here. This is uh, this is my GTS, and what we have on here is a goat tire. Every tire we have that we're testing, we're doing at 13 psi. So pretty much stock besides the tire, the chillers, the tires, and yep. you know this your basics. One, this one, this is another GTS. Uh, the only difference is the tire. I got the Float Life Enduro tire on it. But like you said, we're at 13 PSI on all the boards, so it's a good um, good measure. Um, other than that, I'm going to run on a highline like you're saying, no custom shaping, and then go from there and kind of just see what we can do. Let's go see. Let's go see. Hold up, so we can just compare the GT line. We started from over here. We got a little head start. Now we're going to try from right here at the base of the hill. The base of the hill. The reason being is 
the GT can take off so much faster. So we are right here at the start of the base of the hill. We definitely want to make it more challenging for the GTS with zero uh, changes to custom uh, shaping, just highline, just regular 13 highline. psi in the tire. Yep. All right, you ready? Ready. same mark but it flew up this hill and we just we did it from a dead stop from a dead stop down there at the bottom and it it definitely flew up this hill it felt confident it felt good that tricky the tricky part is getting over that little that dip. is and it the degree is kind of crazy too so but Dude. it did it the only differences we've made same spot starting out is that i have Put the nose in 2.8 degrees up, 5 degrees in uh, aggressiveness, and 5 degrees in dynamic shape. And we are in highline still. You ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. It already feels good. That was easy like that i didn't even get going nearly as fast up the hill but that just took off like a rocket we know that if i did this in uh in highline it will certainly do it easier in apex which we did find out all right let's get you on the board see how yours does mm -hmm. gts regular uh, apex mode nothing crazy no custom shaping no nose lift no nose lift it's all, zero. all right let's do it <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's about where I made it. Damn, Ooh. I knew to pull my camera out. I got it on video too, buddy. Oh, God. I just knew it. That This is a lot steeper than it looks. I know that you really don't get to see a lot of it, but it is certainly very steep. Eat that motherfucker. <laughs> Do eat that motherfucker. All right, this is going to be round two on the GTS. Apex, no custom shaping. I'm ready, let's go. From a stop. Ooh. There he goes. Yep. That's it. And that may be the difference in traction on the two tires. I didn't even lift the nose on uh, custom shaping, so for it to make it that far? That's impressive. It's pretty impressive, because on the GT, we had to do a lot of custom shaping. Yeah. All right, we'll take it down. <laughs> Go, Jose! The Redeemer. I'm telling you, man. Been running up and down this hill. It ain't easy for an old man. All right, gut check number three. What okay, do we got? So we're in uh, Apex with custom shaping. Um, the nose up by three, uh, breaking aggressive aggressiveness all the way up, and what else? A couple other things all the way up. Let's rip. So uh, what we're finding is that in Apex, uh, the power delivery is so uh, so sudden that it's causing the tire to slip. Yeah. So you want to try it one more time in, in uh, Apex or you want to try in Highline? A highline just because it's a little bit more mellow. The power delivery is a little bit more linear instead of just like that immediate punch. And um, custom shaping, we're going to mess with custom shaping the same way we had it in Apex just now. Take a different line, and um, like he was saying, the enduro tire does slip out a lot more than the go tire. 
coming up here. I can't imagine what it would be like on the stock one, but slick, slick. Yeah, slick, slick. So. That All right, it. let's do it. Yeah, nothing like going down this sucker uh, nose up. It's a long ass hill. All right, this is the last try for the GTS. Tell me where you got it. We got it in Highline. Um, dynamic responsiveness, five. Tilt all the way up to three. Aggressiveness, five. Aggressiveness, basically everything to five. Um, and we're just gonna see what that does um, in Highline instead of Apex. Let's go. Far less motor slip. Yep. And there you have it. Made it further in Highline than Apex just because the control of the power is better. It doesn't give it so much. Very interesting. Okay, we're down to the last and final test, which is going to be uh, the VESC. However, we did find a new little spot where we are going to test the VESC, the GT, and the GTS, where we did find a 28 degree uh, rake, which is about as high as we could find. Um, so kicking all this off, we are going to be trying the VESC out. This is my 84 volt VESC, little Falker 3.1, 84 volt pack, Trail Pro, stock uh, Hypercore motor, and some W rails. Right. What do you got? That's a pretty good recipe too. Like, yeah, and this is just this is just Zoe's board. We've already discussed yeah. that. So one of the reasons that we wanted to bring a Vesk into this situation is because one, we knew that people would be like, "Oh, you didn't try a Vesk," but two, because we're really trying to look at the differences between the GTS and the GT and which one is more viable. Um, even though there is a huge market right now with the VESC and uh, float wheel people, um, I would think that that would be a better uh, kind of thing to, to look at between is an 84 volt VESC better or is an 84 volt float, float wheel, wheel better. Right. So with that in question, we're still throwing this into the mix, just knowing that you know, the potential for VESC is huge. The potential for a uh, float wheel, it's infinitely adjustable. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and mirror uh, the same test that we did with our GT and with our GTS with this. Uh, I am not super familiar with the way VESCs work, um, but I do have a basic understanding on how to work with tunes and at least raise the nose so we can see. And uh, let's do it. We good? Yeah, yeah, All yeah. right, let's see what we get. Okay, we're going to try this in the vest. Same spot. I'm in Hans Shetman's tune. Uh, it feels the most powerful out of the tunes that were available. And uh, I also know that I can put the nose up. So let's give it a run. Are you ready? Let's get it. All right, here we go. Okay, you got wheel slip right before the root, right before the rock section. All right. It did it, and I assumed it would. Uh, turn tilt really helps. Two tries. Two tries, but turn tilt, obviously it's got that massive torque. Um, it didn't seem to run up the hill any faster than the GTs did, but it definitely lifted the nose. Here's the difference. The difference is, is that now, without making any adjustments. You can go down the hill. I can go back down the hill.
<laughs> okay, just for shits and gigs, we want to go ahead and try the GT uh, right here from where we tried the GTS. We were way back there. Yeah, a little line right there. So we're going to try it right here at the start of the hill. I'm not going to try it in any other modes. We're going to go in high line. I've already got the nose all the way up. I've got aggressiveness turned all the way up, and I've got dynamic turned all the way up. You ready? Get it. All right, let's see. Oh, it feels strong. I mean, you're storming up it, dude. Holy hey, shit. Right, dude. All right, dude. That was a hell of a lot more beeping, but this little bitch pulled all the way up here. Um, it was still felt strong. Uh, that was at 78% battery. I, I think it's going to come down to what you prefer. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. this thing is a beeping little son of a bitch going up this hill, but I made it very easily. Is Let's notice go try the 20, 28 degree rake. Right. Let's do that. There is a noticeable, uh, noticeably less beeps on the GTS versus the GT. Yeah, it but wasn't going near as fast. I mean, you went up, you were climbing. It, was, it felt strong. You were climbing. It, I mean, I am. It surprised. was beeping. This board has 3,000 miles yeah. on it. 3,000. And it was only at 78%. So. so Let's go try this. Yeah, let's go try it. Twenty-six. Yep. Go away. Go up a little more. It's a consistent twenty-six. Yeah. It goes to twenty-seven here. Twenty-eight. Yep. So. So we are at 76% and uh, I am now in apex. Everything turned up the same way. We want to see if we can make this up. Ready? Ah! We have conquered a 26 to 28 degree hill in apex, nose all the way up and the profiling set five and five on dynamics and aggressiveness. Woo! A slight downhill. Okay, so we might need a slight run because I know that I'm not going to So, should we start here? That's too easy. Go ahead. We'll see what that does and if it. Okay. Run up. What do you have it in right now? I got it in high line, uh, leveled all the way out. Ready? Ready. All right. Easily, easily did it. All right. And I never touched the rail. So no. That's impressive. Interestingly enough, I did not even put the uh, aggressiveness or the uh, uh, dynamic up to five at all. They were still at zero when I did it in high line with the nose all the way up crawling this, this uh, 26 to 28 degree rake. So that's pretty impressive. We have Jose and uh, you're in high line as well? Apex. Apex. All right, let's go. I'm gonna edit real slow this time. Yep. I'm gonna go at it faster. All right, you change anything? Uh, high line now. Okay, he's in high line now. All right, let's go. Oh, no, it no. may be that you put the GT uh, side rail kicks on there. Ooh, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I know what it is. It doesn't actually say GTS on there anymore. Yeah, I gotta take off the GT. Uh, That's why it thinks it's a GT. Yeah. Yeah, I had to start from all the way up there. What the hell? <laughs> How much do you weigh? What the fuck? 
guess uh, I just believed in my smell. There you go. <laughs> All right, get ready. Ready? Yep, go. That's the one! Great job, GTGTS clone. <laughs> nice. I personally don't think this is going to be an issue for, for the Vesk, um, but let's find out. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be an issue. Let's, uh, let's see if we can actually do that a little bit. Okay. The vest definitely definitely doesn't beep. It's uh, <laughs> no beep, no motor drone. One more time. Let's get it. Mm. Um, it climbs at about the same speed as the uh, as the GTL, which is a huge yeah. advantage. Um, is it apples and oranges? Yeah. Is it to do it yourself or is it against future motion? Yeah. But. It's all in good fun. And you know what? There are no winners and losers here. The thing is, they're all winners. It all comes down. It all comes down to what you most are most comfortable with riding. What do you prefer? Yeah. What do you want to do? Are you a tinkerer? By God, get you a vest, get you a float wheel. Are you somebody who likes to rip straight out of the box? Uh, get you a GTS or a GT. They are viable, man. We have proved right here today that the GTS and the GT and the Vesk are all capable of the same things. If you want top speed, go with the GTS. If you want uh, good all around performance and range, go with the GT. If you are a tinker and like to just do things yourself, go with the uh, Vesk, go with the float wheel. Uh, either way, go with all three, you can't lose. And the best part about it is, even if your friends are riding Vesk and you're riding a future motion board, they're still going to ride. <laughs> All, right. All right. So uh, in conclusion, what we found out is that uh, the GT can do a lot more than we assumed it's it could. very capable. Yeah. With, uh, a spe it, it couldn't do it before um, the update. But with the update, it is a substantial improvement. If Go you back. haven't uh, done the update, I, I don't mean to push it, but it's definitely better. Uh, his rewheel board didn't seem to even do as well as the as the custom shaping but you know to each their own uh the other thing too is that we found out that the gts it does everything that the gt does just faster and better so if that's what you're looking for there you go and in conclusion with the vesk it just it's it's just a it's do it yourself it's, it's got, got the beans, beans man <laughs> it does it's got the torque it's got uh, the adjustability and a lot of different things. So if you're a tinker or like to play around, that's your go-to. All right. Peace. Thanks, peace. Jose. Yeah, man. All I right.